All right, gotta get set up for the review, set the figure up, and uh, oh, hold up, is that it? That, yeah, that's a spider, oh no. Oh crud, it's a black widow too, that thing's massive, I need to get rid of that spider. Oh, hey Jaden, weren't you planning on filming a review today? Yeah, why? Eh, I was just wondering, good luck with the review. Okay, thanks. Where to go? All right, I've searched everywhere. Where on earth did it go? What's going on YouTube? Champer Productions coming back at you with another Transformers video review. And in today's video, I'll be taking a look at the new Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Black Arachnia. Starting this review off by taking a look at the packaging. The packaging, as always, for this new Kingdom line looks absolutely fantastic. We got a picture of Black Arachnia in her robot mode and in her spider mode. Up there here in the background, we can see Dinobot, Scorponok, and Waspinator. And then we've got that um, window to see the figure. Coming around to the back side of the packaging, we can see Black Arachnia in her robot mode, her spider mode, and that she converts in 20 steps. And then we've got cave drawings of a spider coming up here to the top of the box we got a predacon symbol here on the bottom we don't really have anything here on the side we've got that amazing kingdom artwork and we have our star character of this review black arachnia here on the packaging and then this side is just a continuation and then the lux class so overall packaging has been done really nicely For her accessories starting off with, she does come with a collector card and I actually got a, uh, another Dinobot collector's card. Um, so as we can see, this is the same one as I previously looked at in my Cheeto review. Same character, Dinobot, looks very, very nice. And then peeling the card on the back here, we actually got Transformers Kingdom and then the golden disc. But opening the card, we can see a Dinobot within his Velociraptor mode, Black Arachnia, Rat Trap, Scorponok, and Air Razor. Very nice. Got the Predacon and Maximal logo. Very nice card. Um, I'm not too necessarily concerned about the preservation of this card because the other card I got is in pretty good shape. So we're just going to put that back on there. She does come with her instructions, which, again, are very nicely done. Bright colors, easy to see, and nice large pictures so you can see what you're doing. She does come with her safety sheet. Hooray for safety sheets! And she does come with a her grappling hook gun, which has been very nicely molded and detailed with some nice copper paint. Overall, this looks really good. Very accurate to how it looked all the way back in Beast Wars. Very nice. And bringing Black Arachnia back into view, here we have her in her really realistic looking Black Widow spider mode. And this looks absolutely fantastic. I think they pulled the spider mode off really quite nicely. I mean, it, it looks like a Black Widow spider. Coming in to take a closer look at the face sculpt here, we got the nice red eyes that are painted. And then we got the mandibles right here which looks very nice. The legs do have um, first uh, sculpting on them to give it that realistic look, but you got that nice first sculpting and detailing on it. Coming here to the abdomen, we can see the red patterning here on the abdomen, which looks really nice and that more, more of that first sculpting and detailing. Very, very nice looking Black Widow mode. Turning her over to the underside, we can really see that's really just a lot of robot kibble and make sure all that's properly tabbed in and everything. But overall, Black Widow mode for Black Arachnia looks quite nice. She is able to store her grappling hook gun. Um, it has two pegs right here and here, which do tab into these two tab holes right here. In order to do that, you simply press that into place and then she's able to store it on the underside of the spider like so so you do have weapon storage there and just getting everything tabbed back into place now she does have some articulation in spider mode each individual leg is on a ball joint so you can do that and then the whole 
leg assembly here is on a hinge, so you can um, you can get some movement out of that. But overall, the spider mode for Black Arachnia here looks really good. My only major complaint is that the figure is a little bit fiddly to try to keep together when doing the articulation because the claws here at the back really kind of don't want to stay together. But um, other than that, I feel like the spider mode looks really good. My only real complaint with the uh, the design back here. I kind of wish they made these more hourglass uh, like in terms of its design because if you've ever seen a Black Widow in real life you will know um, it's a lot more of a definite shape more towards an hourglass. It's an iconic look for the Black Widow but you can definitely look at this and say without hesitation that this is a Black Widow spider and I feel like they've gotten that message across very very clearly. Now for some size comparisons, let's bring in the new Transformers Kingdom Deluxe Class Cheetor. And as you can see, um, in a real world standard, this is not accurate in the slightest, but Black Arachnia turned into a giant Black Widow back in Beast Wars, so I think the scale works quite nicely. So there you have that. And just to bring in another Beast Wars Predacon that we saw on the packaging, let's bring in Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Waspinator. And I feel like these two don't look too terribly bad side by side. So there you go. Again, uh, this is not a Waspinator figure for Kingdom. This is the Generations toy. But overall, I feel like those two don't look bad side by side at all. Now for Black Arachnia's transformation, it is quite unique and quite interesting. To start off with, what we're going to do is actually come here to the underside of the Black Widow mode and take her robot mode arms and pull them up, then take the legs and untab them like so. And we're gonna move, try to move everything out of the way, but we're gonna untab the legs and unhinge them and then move the abdomen out of the way and fold the waist piece down a little bit and that will give you clearance to fold down the robot mode legs like so and then we can come up here towards the top take this assembly here fold it out rotate it there we go rotate it around and then fold out the robot mode arms like so they're on hinges so they will hinge from being in an inward position to this and have that in the place. And then we can take her robot mode arms and just go ahead, swing those around like so. Take the abdomen of the spider mode, hinge it back like so. Take her head, push it through this section here. Unfortunately on my figure, the tab for the connection here has straight up snapped off. So uh, when transforming this figure, just be cautious of that. It's a very, very small tab. If it breaks, it's not the biggest issue in the world. What you're gonna do from here is take her chest plate and fold it down and swivel around her robot mode head like so. Then take the front of the spider, fold it in and collapse the waist and it will tab into place just like so. Take the back of the spider mode or the abdomen and fold it up and collapse it into her back. And then really all that's left for you to do is just get the figure straight now. I like to fold out her knee caps or her knee pieces some. And then take the spider legs and fold them back like so. I just take these and fold them in just to get them out of the way and whatnot. But after all that, get everything straightened out. Make sure the shoulders are positioned properly and everything. But after a rather unique transformation, here we have Black Arachnia terrorized and in her robot mode. And Black Arachnia in a robot mode looks really, really good, giving you a 360 spin around of the figure. We can see that they have done a really good job giving us an updated version of Black Arachnia. And I'd even go to say that if you can't afford the High End Collector's Masterpiece version, that this is a great fill-in for that figure because overall the robot mode looks fantastic there's barely any kibble and i'll get into the pros and cons here in a little bit because there are some cons i do want to talk about but overall i feel like this is a fantastic figure and bringing black arachnia into view to take a look at the details starting at the feet the feet have been nicely molded and the shins have also been nicely molded the thighs have been uh, nicely molded and detailed with some nice yellow paint here as well 
very nice and then the claws have been nicely done with some nice yellow paint to get that yellow and black striping some nice paint on the lower torso very very nice got a nice predicon logo right here right below the neck very nice and the head sculpt for black arachnia here looks absolutely fantastic while it's not perfect on mine i definitely do have some paint bleeds um back the figure up some so you can get a good look at her head sculpt but as you can see definitely do have some paint bleeds here on the side of the helmet but overall the helmet itself looks really nice and they've actually chosen a nice gold paint for the mouth to give some um, difference in color from the rest of her face sculpt and then at the very top of her crest we can see she's got an hourglass logo or an hourglass um, from the black widow mode which has been painted red which I really really do like that they put the hourglass logo on her forehead um, very nice attention to detail and even on the back of the head sculpt we can see that the paint continues and she does have some more molded in detail back of the figure um kind of got some hollow points you do have some five millimeter ports there one thing i would like to mention design wise which i think is really cool is that the fact that even though her claws do not have any articulation she does have the ability to hold things and i'll get into the articulation here in a minute but if you come and take a look at the claws here we can see she's almost got a serrated edge on the inside of the claw which is actually a five millimeter port here at the base which allows her to hold any real weapon that has a five millimeter port which or five millimeter peg which is awesome so you can have her holding really any accessory which is really cool in my opinion going over black arachnia's articulation she is quite well articulated starting here at the head head is on a hinge so she can look up and down and does have a ball joint for a 360 degree movement arms are on hinges so she can move up and down and full 360 degree rotation arms can swivel at the bicep and then these spider arms do tend to move with uh, the arm because they have to be segmented for the transformation but you know it's just something you're going to have to work around not that big of an issue elbows can bend roughly 90 degrees legs are quite articulated as well she can kick forward to a decent degree and can kick back can kick outwards she does have a full 360 thigh swivel a great amount of movement at the knee and then she does have the classic siege ankle articulation articulation has ankle tilt and a little bit of back and a lot of forward movement so overall the articulation for this figure is absolutely fantastic and bringing in kingdom deluxe class cheetor we can see these two scale pretty well side by side so there's your size comparison there and let's bring in generations deluxe class waspinator so here we have waspinator and these two again scale pretty good side by side in my opinion i think they look good together but there you have size comparisons overall what are my official thoughts and opinions about kingdom black arachnia Overall, this is a fantastic figure. I think that they have pulled this figure off exceptionally well. And if you can't afford the high-end collect collectible masterpiece version, then this is a really, really good option. In fact, I would go to say that this is a miniature masterpiece figure. And a lot of the Kingdom figures have been giving us almost miniature masterpiece Beast Wars characters. And I think that overall, this is a really good figure um i do have one complaint i talked about this during the transformation the uh, peg that snapped off that <sighs> there has been reports of that breaking so i mean it didn't surprise me but at the same time i really feel like it's not that important of a peg but it is nice to know that they tried to put it there but it really kind of defeats itself when the peg is eventually going to break if that's the case but i mean other than that i don't really have any complaints about the figure i think overall it's really well done both modes look absolutely fantastic and i mean it's a great great figure but guys that's all for me i hope you enjoyed this review if so be sure to leave a like comment what you think of black arachne in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel that's all for me champion productions signing off